Hello class, so today we are going to be learning about how to segment and blend phonemes in a word. We're going to start out with our I can of the day. So I want to read it, I want you to read it with me, okay? Ready, set, go. I can segment and blend phonemes in a word. Good job. Everyone start by telling me what a phoneme is. Good, a phoneme is the smallest unit or sound of a word. Today we're gonna to be breaking down or segmenting and blending words by their phonemes. We may have done this before with syllables, but today we're gonna to do it with phonemes. So as an example, let's look at this picture. What is the arrow pointing to? It's pointing to a toe, good job. So I'm gonna break down or segment the word toe by its phonemes, then I want you to repeat it back to me and then we'll say it as a class, okay? Toe, t o. Good job. So now let's say it as a class. Toe, t, o. Now, how many phonemes is that? How many phonemes do you hear? Two. Yes, you hear two phonemes. So there's two phonemes in the word toe. So let's blend those two phonemes back into form the word toe. So we'll go t, o. I'll say it first. T, o, toe. You say it back. Now let's say it as a class. T, o, toe. Job. Leading into our activity for the day. So each of you should have a folder like this on your desk. Don't worry about reading the front. We're gonna. I'm, that's one way it's funny right now. If I don't get done time, and um, you should have picture cards in there. And then, so these picture cards, and then a little sheet that looks like this, and then pictures at the bottom. Okay. Good. Er, e. Er, e. Might bring this nice. back so you can see it. Let's blend those three phonemes back together. Er, e. Tree. Good Look job. At our chart. One, two, three phonemes at mark. One, two, three box. Good job. Also, if you're having issues with. T I'll show you all what I'm looking at. Tree. I'm going to explain the best way to do this in your groups. So you will not be working on a group of four, but you're gonna be working with the person sitting next to you at your table, so your shoulder buddy. So it should just be two of you. And person one is going to, here, let's have the word, this picture card. This is a an egg, good job. So what person one is going to say egg, and then they're going to say the phonemes of egg. Eh, g, eh, g. And then person two is going to say egg, egg. So they're going to repeat the phonemes and then say the word at the end. They're going to blend the phonemes together. Does that make sense? Any questions? Okay, so I'm going to actually let me backtrack for a second. So once both of you have gotten the number of like as a group, once you've gotten the um, number of phonemes right, then you will each put on your student sheets. So you'll go to egg right here and you'll go to the number of phonemes, one, two. You'll mark that in and you'll put two pennies in your penny jar. Make sense? Okay, good. Now you will have about eight to 10 minutes to work on this. I'll set a timer up on the board and I'll call you back after that and we'll have a review session, okay? Good. So now that we're all back together, so Back together as a class. Miss Mikhail is getting very tongue tied today. Um, now that we're all back together as a class, I want to ask you a couple questions and how you liked the activity. So to start, can anyone tell me what a phoneme is? Good. A phoneme is the smallest unit or sound of a word. Good job. Now, what were two words that we learned today in today's lesson? Segment and blend. Good. Can you can anyone tell me what the word segment means? Like what it is, what you think it is? Good. It's breaking apart parts of a word. So today, what do we break them apart by? Their phonemes. We broke apart phonemes in a word. And what does blend mean? I can't, I don't think I said it clearly, but from what we did, I think you should be able to know. Good. Blending is when you blend back the parts of the word you broke up. So today we blended back what? The phonemes. Good. So the goal of today's lesson was really for you to understand how to segment and blend parts of a word. And we did that by phonemes. It's important for you to realize a word's phonemes so you can 
sound out that word if you're having issues when you're reading or if you say you do come across a word and you're like oh i know the phonemes for this so i'm going to sound it out like that basically what i just said so it's really important and it takes a lot of practice for reading the importance of it is when reading and also writing say you're trying to write a word and you don't exactly know how to write it write it out i'm getting very tongue-tied today write it out you can sound out the letters of the word and if you know the letters then you can try your best to write it out does anybody have any questions okay have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful